Hi, hello. In this course of business planning, we are starting the second activity, the second type of practice, the practice of business modeling. A few words of introduction. In this video, I am presenting you an instructional for this practice. In another video, you will see like a real time, real life demo how I do business modeling for a business concept of mine. So, introduction. When you come up with a business idea, you want to be terribly original in your solutions. But there is a brutal truth about business that the most effective business structures somehow creatively emulate something that already exists. So it is an, a good idea, a good move, once you have come up with the first description of your business concept, to find similar businesses which already exist, which already work, and just observe them. Uh, how profitable are they? What is their business model? Uh, what amount of capital do they need to put out like one million dollar worth of revenue or output? Uh, how many people they employ? Uh, what are the risks they are exposed to? You can look for all kinds of things, right? Uh, anyway, in this uh, specific video, I shortly discuss the concept of business modeling and I show you a technique. And now, the technique. When you look for businesses to emulate creatively, uh, the best one of the best solution uh, solutions, excuse me, is to go and find a public a publicly listed company. I mean, a company listed in the public stock market in some kind of national public stock market. Why? Because those publicly listed companies are under a legal obligation to disclose to investors important information about their business, about how they work. And uh, of course, in those presentations they publish, there could be a certain dose of bullshit, which you need to practice how to cut out. And this is why it is worth practicing that business modeling thing. Yet, you can find some pieces of information which are useful. So, now, a quick instruction how to do it. Uh, so, first of all, once again, I am visual in my presentations. So, here I show you a picture of a square block that someone tries to wedge in a round hole. This is what you need to do very largely when you start a new business. That board with round holes is the market, the industry that you are trying to fit in. Please remember, it is an important truth. No successful business can exist completely alone and on its own. A successful business is a business which successfully adapts to a pre-existing market environment. Even Elon Musk, with his ideas, has to adapt to the market environment incumbent in place. Okay, so now the technique, short description. Uh, I allowed myself to put here two pictures, one of an octopus and another one of a chameleon. This is, uh, once again, I am visual and this is what I intuitively associate with quick adaptation. My environment changes its colors, so I change my colors. So, the technique. Name a business concept and then Google up the following phrase. Literally type it into your uh, online search functionality. Name of the concept plus a phrase investor relations. And excuse me. Okay. Okay. 
I wanted just to show you that thing sentence by sentence. So this search uh, will show you publicly listed companies or companies who are maybe not publicly listed but they maintain some kind of investor relations and which run businesses which might be similar to your concept. Here one remark. At this point in time, you really need to do your homework. Huh? You need to click on each of those links or on like the first three and just check if the business that hides behind this specific, uh, uh, this specific find by Google, if it is really the business that you are thinking about. You need to check it. There is no, like, there is no way around it. And by the way, by the same occasion, you can find out that, for example, it is hard to come by uh, a business which is exactly similar to what you are thinking about. You might discover in that first process that like the most uh, prevalent business model in the market is slightly different from what you are initially thinking about. It is already a useful, valuable piece of information. Generally, those sites labeled as investor relations show businesses from like the kitchen door side perspective. Take your time to rummage through each such site. In another video, the demonstrative one, I will show you that it is like worth surfing around a little bit on each such site in the search of useful informations. Now, pay attention to the type of information you can find there. Because the kind of information that is disclosed on those sites entitled Investor Relations, it is visibly important to investors. So there you already learn another lesson. What is it important to show to your investors? So practicing business modeling can sort of retroactively help your skills in business pitching or in pitching a business concept, which is the substance of the first activity in this course. And finally, when you have made some notes, try to emulate creatively those business models. Try to think what you can draw out of them for your own business model. Okay, so that would be it. Be a chameleon, be an octopus, adapt creatively. And remember, the best way to start a very innovative business is to, say, is to take something already existing in terms of business models and just remodel it creatively to take the good things, eliminate the bad things and come up with something new. And another thing, just as a general lesson, the more you innovate about your business model, the more it will cost you. It is an important thing. If you use an already existing business model and don't really change much about it, you, like, you don't have to kick open some doors because some doors are already open. You, you don't have to force them or you don't, you, you, you don't have to force through them. Uh, on the other hand, if you take a business model which is very innovative, so you, if you change a lot as compared to the incumbent business models, then it can turn out as very effective in the future, but it will cost you to learn in real life by trial and error how to run that innovative business model efficiently. Okay, this is it in that instructional video. So have fun with it, try to practice it. In another video, I make a demo of how I do business modeling. Have fun with science and have fun with life. Bye.